very early canvas board era of painting was the palette knife only. Roger Lytle began collecting highwaymen art a quarter century ago. They have a painting style that's very unique. He now owns hundreds of their works. Some of these very iconic images, landscapes, what drew uh, people to Florida? Landscapes, the sun, you know, warm weather. Several are hanging on the walls of the Elliott Museum in Stewart as part of a new exhibition, Highwaymen, from the street corner to the Smithsonian. This story has remained untold virtually to the world for so, so long. Of the original 26 first generation artists, only seven are still alive. Happy birthday to you. A 91st birthday party was held recently at the Elliott for artist Roy McClendon, who we caught up with in Wellington back in February. Shut out from traditional galleries in the 1950s and 60s, these Treasure Coast-based artists would sell their work along the side of the road and wherever they could find clients. We'd sell them to the doctor's office, lawyer's office, anywhere we could sell a painting now. When the highwaymen would sell their paintings on the side of the road, they would get $25, maybe $35 for them. But today, these paintings can run in the tens of thousands of dollars. If that's too rich for you, $25 can get you a raffle entry for an original Highwaymen work, with the proceeds benefiting the museum. I've had people make comments that this is going to be um, as big as Motown. It's the next big thing coming. Steele believes that every museum will be clamoring in the next year or two to have their own Highwaymen exhibition. These wonderful artists who have been undiscovered, and, and we hope that everything possible that can possibly accrue to those artists happens for them. And Lytle says these artists are truly an American treasure. It's the American success story, these artists creating paintings. The exhibition runs through July. In Stewart, John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.